How's it? We're going to do some 3D effects with animation and After Effects. Uh, what we're going to do is start vertical and uh, show your composition with a vertical pan. Now to do this, there's two ways of doing it. One is the hard way and not the most efficient way is you take your layer, you know, your background, P for position, start at the stopwatch, drag it out, and then key in your keyframe uh, to drag it the background down. Now the problem is you're changing um, the background. What if instead of changing the background, we left the background as it is and we changed the way we see it? Now After Effects is really smart and really cool. Um, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're actually going to change and add a camera so we can change the way we can view uh, it instead. So I'm going to go in here and um, drag this back up. Okay. And I'm going to go layer new camera. Okay. And use the default OK. So now we have a new camera. But in order for this camera to work, you need to, in, um, the layers have to be 3D. And you see this 3D box. So go ahead and click on those little icons to enable uh, 3D for those layers. Um, if you don't do it, it won't work. You, it won't enable it. And if you only want certain layers to be 3D with the camera um, settings and uh, apply those. So for your camera position, we're going to go in here and click on this little arrow and go to transform and we're going to go ahead and click on point of interest and position stopwatches to start that. Next you're going to drag your marker out to uh, uh, how many seconds you want your vertical pan to go and then you're going to go here and um, up on the top here you'll see this little uh, camera thing you're gonna go to track X and Y camera tools okay um, Y is vertical so we're gonna use the vertical X and Y so we're basically gonna just drag it straight up here to where we want it to be so now if I go back here uh, and go through this it works now if you didn't do the stopwatch for point of interest it's actually gonna kind of flip it kind of 3d -ish. so make sure you have both of those um, um, selected now let me show you a little bit of how the 3d works because you may be like you may not still understand 3d at this point yet uh, if I go to my orbit tool I can basically kind of show you how we can see our 3d um, layers okay so notice that we can it's a 3d um, way of seeing things okay um, so after we do the vertical pan down and again the background layers are not moving we're just moving the camera of how we see these layers now what we're gonna do is since we move the camera we're gonna animate uh, these individual layers for the, with the positioning of the bus now we we don't change the way that we see the bus because it still has to like go across if we move the camera all across we would be following the bus instead of the scene which could be the case let's say we wanted to follow the bus um, and not stay on this scene so we could easily do that um, but I would make this uh, composition extra long you know like a really long scene um, so let me show you an example so uh, if we just wanted to do something normal you would just hit position on the bus and then drag it out a couple seconds and then drag it over like that and then if we play it through you know the bus goes through now if you want to follow the bus uh, like a 3d camera what you can do here is with the camera um, go to your um, position go uh, a shift P and that will pick uh, click on point of interest and position and notice the stopwatches are already on so what we would do is now change the vertical um, so X and Y again and now we would go um, we would pan this way you know and we would like kind of like follow the bus as it's going and again that's why I said you would need a extended scene here so you could see a little bit better so if you notice it comes down okay and then no, it looks like the, the bus is moving and we're like tracking the bus okay so there's two ways of doing it you can track something with the camera you know like like uh, following it or you could just have the camera down and then have other objects move uh, with it so in this case um, 
I'm going to not follow the bus right now because I want the attention to be on this tree right here. So I'm just going to go to the bus, um, get that out of my scene, hit uh, the position, have a, a few seconds, and then um, drag it over. Okay, and then I also have this uh, white car here, so I'm gonna start him out of the scene. Okay, uh, P for position, start him, and zoom him out of the scene as well. Okay, and if I'll make him a little bit longer. Now. So this is what we have. It comes down and the car has come across. Now it looks like they're going to hit each other, you know, because they're on this, they're kind of like right at each other. Now to add more depth of field, uh, that's one of the cool things we can do with the 3D camera. And now to do this, we're going to go ahead here and select the camera. And now we're going to go up into view or active camera and hit top. Now this is a top view of what we are seeing right now in our scene. Okay. Um, now if we uh, cycle this out and we can go ahead and click on the bus we can click on the car um, if we want to move the depth of field all you have to do is um, click on the layer like bus and then go to this green point and go to where it says Z Z is depth of field to change so I'm gonna right now it says Y I don't want Y I want uh, Z so there now we have Z so now, now I'm gonna pull Z up here okay and he's gonna be more towards the front of the camera and make sure you pull the whole line otherwise it'll look like he's uh, curving okay so which you may want to curve him if, you, if that's if he's like trying to like you know he's going right at the car and then he swerves you know that you could do it that way so and then let's go to our yellow car and see where he's at. So our yellow car is uh, right here. Right there is our yellow, uh, yellow car. And so I'm gonna keep the Z and I'm gonna push him back. Okay, so. There we go. So now we change our view from top and we go back to uh, camera one. So now you'll notice that when I play it, it looks a little bit uh, dimensional. Now, what I'm gonna do is I wanna zoom in on this tree. And again, we're gonna zoom in with the camera. So what we're gonna do here is with the point of interest right here uh, on camera one, that should still be selected with the uh, stopwatches. Um, we're gonna go into our um, uh, Z okay, and then we're going to um, right about here where the bus is right about here. I'm going to uh, Start zooming in so just click and drag it in there like this Okay, and I'm gonna zoom in kind of like right on that tree now if you notice, okay um, It's gonna come down like this and it's gonna come over here and notice that the uh, the bus is still um moving over there um, and actually I'm gonna take my keyframes over a little bit more okay so notice that as I'm zooming in I'm kind of like zooming like right past um, right past that bus notice I'm zooming in so it, it has that 3d ish look to it okay notice here I'm almost at the bus but I have uh, more with the car to go you know and so what you could do with your story is uh, so now let's say you had uh, a main character and he was a star okay and this star lived in this tree okay so then you could have this story with a tree now if your background here is too blurry what I would do is go into your illustrator and make your composition twice as large or three times as large and then import it again into After Effects so that um, it's really big and then you just scale it down so when you zoom in it's really denser and has a higher quality um, well, let's say you have a story with a star and you can say the star lives in this tree and then the star you know he can um, he says he's gonna climb this building right here you know so what you could do here is with the camera then um, 
now we're going to move go to our x and y okay and then we're just going to um, move like here like he's flying up on top of this building okay and then you could have something going on with the building and he gets tired and so on so so if you notice um and again my star i wouldn't want him to sh um show up maybe until i hit that tree so maybe he like appears so it's like this he appears up and he comes down so i really encourage you guys to um, use a 3d camera to kind of like move around the space of your environment and uh, have a lot of vertical space and a horizontal space so you can move across it uh, if you want to change the angle you may want to change the angle of how things look overall you could go up here to your orbits camera tool and so um, and then just kind of like uh, tilt it you know sideways so instead of like your normal head-on view you could have it you know um, like a side view but of course you'd have to expand it uh, so there's no black so if you notice here it kind of side angles in okay so and again to do the side angle you would use the orbits tool you know to to show um, where you are notice that this angle it looks like a, like he said and he looked up into the sky you know like this is a really easy way of looking up into the sky but of course you would have to uh, scale your you know backgrounds and things so that it would be like much larger so if you notice here you'd want this much bigger so it would like fill fill the frame okay um, so that's one thing uh, to keep in mind so a lot of ways you can be creative one creative way I like uh, with After Effects with th with the 3d and again this works only with 3d is with uh, lighting you can go new uh, camera uh, and you can add another camera and so if you wanted to add it like like let's say you get two um, mixed up like okay first the camera goes here then the camera goes here you could just break it up and have okay first the camera zooms in then another camera is gonna switch the angle and so on so you could have multiple cameras going on at different times of your frame uh, go to layer new and light I really like this uh, light and you can go to ambient and then choose a color so maybe let's say in the morning it's uh, kind of like sunrise so maybe we have like a um, a burnt orange you know ambient light so notice that the whole thing is like that so what you can do with this light source is um, with your lighting options intensity I now if you notice as I play through it uh, if you want if you if this is zero this means that there's no light in your um, in your whole scene if you don't have light you can't see anything right so you could make it so it like gradually appears you know the, the light uh, and again that that lights everything it doesn't just light one layer of the background it lights everything in the whole scene so that's really cool uh, that you can have for that um, another instead of ambient you could have spotlight and I like spotlight because you can come in here uh, with your spotlight Let's see and you can basically change the way you uh, position that light so if you want the light to be um, positioned a certain way like here just make sure you have the uh, selection tool and you can basically you know position it kind of like as a, a sun you know and again move it on the X and the Y and you can basically um, use that as a lighting source um, and again if I want to change the, um, the color so notice that's pretty cool um, if I want to change the color I can just click on that and then if I want it to be more like a, a, a green it changes it to a green okay and then I can uh, start it here um, and then you can also you know move it around and with the uh, timeline and again if uh, these layers aren't selected with 3d you won't see it okay um, so make sure that those layers are in 3d I really like that lighting source so uh, go ahead and keep uh, playing around with uh, 3d effects there's a lot of things that you can do with them um, I really enjoy uh, the creativity that um, it gives you so have fun